A virtual power plants is an alternative for the management of distributed energy resources in the electricity system. It operates based on the concept of the virtual cloud. Its specific role is visibility and the technical and commercial integration of distributed energy resources in the power system. It groups and manages the technical potential of different distributed energy resources, regardless of the voltage level and elements geographical restriction. It is modeled as a single virtual element associated with the distribution network to guarantee a safe, efficient, cooperative and complementary operation between its elements, both in commercial and technical aspects. The concept of virtual power plants was firstly introduced in 1997 by Dr. Shimon Auerbach with the term virtual utility, proposing the creation of small systems capable of taking advantage of the benefits of distributed energy resources. Virtual power plants are defined as a combination of storage devices and small renewable and thermal generating plants, serving to participate in the electricity market as a more robust and efficient power plant. It also defines as a group of decentralized and grid-connected units installed in single- and multifamily homes, small businesses, and public buildings, to provide heating, cooling and electricity production services. Thus, a set of units can be controlled and managed as a single distributed energy resource plant with great flexibility in terms of fuel choice. The characteristics of the generator and controllable load parameters that can be aggregated and used to characterize a virtual power plants, including frequency response characteristics, voltage regulating capability, active and reactive power loading capability schedule and profile of load, among others. In the European Phoenix project, a mechanism is proposed to manage distributed energy resources and make better use of its participation. In the developed work, virtual power plants are approached as a set of generating plants and controllable loads. The capacity of the generators is around dozens of MW, and they can produce electrical and thermal energy at the same time. Service supply is carried out through a smart management system. Virtual power plants are part of the concept of distributed energy resources and medium-slash-low-voltage distribution networks. Virtual power plants are a fundamental element to participate in the active management of the system as a smart grid. A virtual power plant is also defined as the set of distributed energy resources located in an electrical system, not limited in voltage level and grouped for cooperative operation as a single element. It aims to obtain technical and economic benefits for all system participants. The Dynamotech laboratory was used for the control of active and reactive power through a virtual power plant. To seek the proper interaction of distributed energy resources in the EPS, the participation of virtual power plant as an integrating agent is proposed for small distributed energy resources to be power suppliers from distribution networks. The virtual power plant's operator would be permanently communicated and interacted. A virtual power plant is a set of distributed energy resources, storage systems, electric vehicles and controllable loads, which are controlled, optimized and coordinated so that their operation is equivalent to an hourly dispatched unit and with participation in the electricity market. This virtual power plant is a supplier of energy, capacity and ancillary services to the grid operations. The electric vehicle is also proposed as a fundamental part of virtual power plants, the concept of FOG is a virtual power plant to integrate distributed energy resources as services for community energy management is proposed. Generating units are integrated in a power distribution hub, which is managed and controlled with FOG-based service to form a virtual power plant. This service provides a virtual trading system for prosumers. In the Positive project, the concept of a dynamic virtual power plant is proposed. The dynamic virtual power plant aims to facilitate the integration of dispatchable and non-dispatchable renewable energy sources into the electrical network by offering their combined flexibility. It is a new concept that considers the large-scale integration of only RES. The dynamic virtual power plant not only has economic advantages, but it also has the capacity to offer ancillary services to the system. As a summary, Figure 1 shows some important criteria that have contributed to the development of virtual power plants over time. Finally, bringing together the concepts formulated, an integral definition of virtual power plant is proposed. This definition encompasses the different operating approaches and the services that can be offered to the EPS. A virtual power plant is an alternative for the management of distributed energy resources in the electricity system, which operates based on the concept of the virtual cloud.
Its specific role is visibility and the technical and commercial integration of distributed energy resources in EPS. It is capable of grouping and managing the technical potential of different distributed energy resources, regardless of the voltage level at which they are interconnected with the network and without a geographical restriction between the elements. It is modeled as a single virtual element associated with the distribution network to guarantee a safe, efficient, cooperative and complementary operation between its elements, both in commercial and technical aspects. The virtual power plants has the capacity to participate in the electricity market as a manager of controllable loads and as a provider of energy, power reserve and ancillary services. Virtual power plants manage the services of the distributed energy resources through communication and coordination protocols between the aggregator and system operator. The power flows are supplied in the distribution networks and are controlled in real time. Finally, the economic flows are managed by the market operator. In summary, virtual power plants are responsible for three types of flows, communication and economic flows and real power flows in the grid. This concept is known as the Internet of Energy. To clarify the proposed concepts, Figure 3 shows a diagram with the physical link between the virtual power plant and the distribution grid. Virtual power plants are usually classified in two groups, technical virtual power plants and commercial virtual power plants. The main objective of the technical virtual power plant is to grant the visibility of the distributed energy resources to the system operators. They contribute to the operation of the network in real time through the availability of capacity, energy supply and ancillary services, such as voltage regulation, secondary and tertiary frequency regulation, inertial response and black start, among others. Technical virtual power plants lead to the decentralization of the electrical power system, offering the technical characteristics of a traditional power station. Likewise, its flexibility allows it to manage the complementarity between its associated elements and to use storage devices to guarantee the stability required by the system. The main objective of the commercial virtual power plant is the commercial integration of distributed energy resources in the electrical power system, allowing participation in the electricity market with the supply of energy, power reserve and ancillary services. Commercial virtual power plant manage their resources to find economic benefits for distributed energy resources owners and for the system in general. The process gathers distributed energy resources and formulates a daily capacity and production plan, considering the costs of individual distributed energy resources. Finally, depending on the type of electricity market in the country or region, a service is offered at a specific price. This way, low-capacity distributed energy resources become visible in the electricity market and are more likely to be dispatched when combined with other technologies. Consequently, the commercial virtual power plant constitutes a supply and demand subsystem between the distributed energy resources and the associated loads. The commercial virtual power plant operator decides the dispatch of each element based on the cost and convenience presented in each operating scenario, according to the availability of the energy resource hourly demand, marginal prices, and the spot market. Based on these concepts, some researchers have proposed new classification categories of virtual power plants. For example, in order to guarantee the flexibility of services offered by the technical virtual power plants and commercial virtual power plant, management and control subcategories are established, which are called virtual power plant with centralized and distributed control. The optimal operation of the electrical system depends on a technical operating structure and a commercial operating mechanism. First, the responsibility for the balance between generation slash demand, power quality and system reliability rests with the technical operation. Second, the supply of these services is managed in different electricity markets. Worldwide, there are commonly three main electricity markets, day ahead market, real time balancing market and futures markets. Although some concepts or regulations may vary according to each country, the main characteristics are common to all of them. The day-ahead market market allows trading electricity commodities the day before on a daily basis, while the real-time balancing market market closes shortly before the actual power delivery. Finally, futures markets allow transactions several weeks, months or years in advance. Distributed energy resources alone do not have the ability to dynamically participate in these markets and require an intermediary agent in this case, the virtual power plant. In this sense, the virtual power plant aggregates the services of multiple distributed energy resources and benefits them from the economy of scale. 
In addition, it generates complementarity between distributed energy resources and increases their flexibility. The virtual power plant also acquires reserve capacity and therefore can provide services in the ancillary services market. Since many distributed energy resources in the electricity system are renewable sources, participation in electricity markets becomes a problem of decision-making under conditions of uncertainty. There are three main uncertainties, price, demand and availability of renewable resources. The solution to these problems is through stochastic programming optimization algorithms and robust optimization. Renewable energies also pose a risk in electricity markets. Commercial virtual power plants must face uncertainties and offer their services seeking maximum economic profitability. When considering risk and bidding, optimization algorithms are more complex and adaptive robust programming is recommended. The potential of virtual power plants for the integration of distributed energy resources and explored through the development of several demonstration projects, which seek to consolidate this alternative of distributed energy resources integration in the electrical power system, generating new knowledge and solid experiences to support the energy transition. The projects developed worldwide have specific characteristics of architecture, operation, capacity, control systems, etc., according to the proposed scope and the set objectives to achieve. The most representative demonstration projects are summarized in Table 1. If the technical characteristics of the Edison project are analyzed, the virtual power plants is a set of electric vehicles and wind generation, while in the Simply Energy virtual power plant project, the virtual power plant is a set of batteries and photovoltaic generators. Likewise, the specific objectives are different according to the interests of each project. For example, in the Web2 Energy project, a virtual power plant was implemented to test smart distribution concepts, while in the Virtual Plant Demonstrations project, the virtual power plant is managed to offer ancillary services to the system. The different approaches between the Phoenix and Positive projects are evident. The architecture of the virtual power plant of Phoenix has a single point of common coupling with the grid and distributed energy resource management optimizes the maximum energy supply. On the other hand, the positive project uses the concept of the cloud to control distributed energy resources at multiple point of common couplings with the grid. This project manages the energy and the capacity of the distributed energy resources to offer ancillary services to the system. Another interesting example is SmartPool from the company Next Craftwork. The implemented virtual power plant manages more than 2,900 distributed energy resources through the concept of the cloud and multiple point of common couplings. The management of each controllable distributed energy resource as biogas power plants uses their flexibility to stabilize the system with secondary frequency regulation. It is observed in the demonstration projects that the level of penetration of distributed energy resources does not imply a limitation for virtual power plants. The SmartPool project manages 1.9 gigawatt and is competitive in the German electricity market. In fact, the more distributed energy resources there are, the more flexible the virtual power plants becomes and its operation is more complex. On the other hand, the different technologies of the distributed energy resources do not impede the optimal operation of the virtual power plant. For example, in Positive Project, the virtual power plant manages only renewable sources, and in some simulation scenarios, they do not consider storage.